trying to contain my excitement, our next guest, the definition of R&B superstar. He brought us songs like, tell me what you want me to do, can we talk, I'm ready. It all sounds like a very well-constructed sentence that leads to something good, right? But you know what I'm talking about. All of South Africa, so happy to know that Tevin Campbell is in South Africa on a three-city tour. This Wednesday, PE got a taste of TC magic, and now TC is in CT performing tomorrow night, and Joburg, your turn is on Sunday. But right now, he is in our penthouse studios at Expresso. So good to have you here. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Wow, wow. I you know, to shake this man's hand right now is a surreal experience because I, I grew up with your music, <laughs> man. You know, when, when I was trying to, to get a girlfriend, I was all like, tell me about you. And you do a good show. job, man. You sound good. <laughs> Thank you very you much. Think, you but how, how's your time in, in the country been so far? I mean, I this, is, this is your second time coming uh, to perform, right? Second time, mm -hmm. yeah. I was here in the late 90s, a long time ago. Yeah. Um, so it's been a long time. I'm having a great time so far. You, you landed on Sunday last week and you performed in PE on Wednesday. How, yeah. how, were, how was the crowd? The crowd was crazy. I was not expecting it. It was a sold out crowd. Uh, of course, black ties were great. Uh, but yeah, it was surreal. It was really surreal. They, they knew every word and every note and every phrase into the song. Like you, you can just pop the mic like that into the audience. I did that a couple of times. <laughs> But I, sometimes I had to tell them to be quiet and listen to me sing. It was great. <laughs> it was it was it was surreal. I couldn't ask for a better show. Wow, man! But t yeah. tell me about about that. I mean, we were talking just now about w when you perform, right? Uh, and you do those classics because I, I assume that the South African audience would have wanted quite a lot of the classics. Yeah. Do, do you drop them like a key or two down? Because th those songs are high. They are high. No, we did actually to track at the uh, the show yeah. Wednesday night. So they are in the original key. It's kind of important for me to do it in the original key because a lot of people come to the show very skeptical, skeptical, yes. and they don't think that I can hit the notes. And I, I love to see the looks on their faces when and I hit the shot notes. Them, you know, man. so it's uh, it means a lot to me. Wow, dude. Yeah. Listening to the music right now playing in the background, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, wow, man, where have you been all these years? We've needed some TC magic. You know, R&B has kind of like, I think, hit a bit of a downslope over the years. I don't know, what, what's, your, what's your take on it? Because back in the day when you were, when you were on, on the scene, um, mm. it was really powerful. R&B yeah. definition, it had meaning to it. Yeah, but you know what? I think it's making a transition back to it, though. I think a lot of artists are, are realizing that it's very important to be original and not to try to sound like everybody else, not yeah. to try to sound pop. A white. Yeah. You know? <laughs> it's all about rhythm and blues. Yeah. And soul. Yeah. And I think that uh, there's a lot of songs that are coming out. Uh, blurred Lines. Yeah, yeah. Robin Thicke is a perfect example of the transition I think that R&B is going to make. Are you rocking that tune on your iPod uh, right now? Ah, yeah. Hey, hey, iPod, hey. Yeah, you know, dude, people dude. like Miguel, Weekend, you know, those types of people I think are bringing it back to real R&B. So, yeah. you know, it always evolves. Every yeah. about 15, 10 years, yeah. music evolves. That's just the way it is. And it'll never be like it was back in the 90s. Oh, man. Well, I, I don't know, man. Some people are really feeling that, you know, people are really feeling that, that honesty vibe yeah. these days. And when, when musicians write songs, they're mm. all about being honest and relating that, that feeling to yeah. the audience. Yeah. But I know that lots of your fans might be wondering, like, what have you been doing over the years? We've missed you. Why have you been away for so long? Well, after um, the solo album, I think it was the last album, mm -hmm. the fourth album, Tevin Kalman release, I just decided to take away from the limelight to get myself together, to grow up, to become a young man. You know, I didn't think that I could do it in the limelight. Yeah. I think that people on the outside looking in, it's, you know, they see the glamour, they see the glitz, you know, but it's a lot of hard work and it's a lot of pressure, especially for a teenager, 12 yeah. years old, to I mean, deal you're, with. You, you broke into the scene at 11, you were telling me. Isn't right. That is crazy, man. Uh, so it's a lot of pressure. So I, from me and my health, yeah. I needed to step away. You know, I sympathize with Justin Bieber. I was about to I ask you about JB. <laughs> I can understand what he's going through, you know, because it's a lot of pressure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and with social media today, it's on a whole other level for him. But so I decided to step away, and um, I didn't intend for the break to last as long as it did. But yeah. I got an offer for a Broadway um, part, and I auditioned for it in 2004. And I got the part, and I did it on Broadway for four years, and I continued the role in Australia. I lived there for two years, yeah. so I did live theater for six years, yeah. and it humbled me and disciplined me and all this other stuff. It was great. Dude, but beyond all of that, man, we are so grateful to have you back in the country, to have you back making your music. We're going to talk about your, uh, your latest album that you're working on right now mm. a bit later on. And, and obviously to hear some TC magic here Ooh. on Expresso. You do not want to miss that. 10 past 8. I don't care if you're going to work. Tell your boss right now. You're going to be a little bit late because Tevin Campbell is performing right here on Expresso live to all of you in South Africa. Right now, let's go over to the kitchen where Linda and Hilary Billa are getting their cooking on.